In this video, we will show you how to set up your Garmin Approach R10 golf device. First, we will begin by pairing your Approach R10 device with your compatible smartphone. To do this, you will need to download the Garmin Golf app on your smartphone. In this video, we will be using an Apple iPhone, but the process is similar on Android devices. Once the download is complete, open the Garmin Golf app. Sign in with your Garmin account or create a new account. Then follow the on-screen instructions to finish setting up your account. Now we will need to open the menu to start the pairing process. To open this menu on an Apple iPhone, touch more at the bottom of the screen. Touch the three bars at the top of the screen on Android smartphones. Touch Garmin devices from the menu. Then touch Add Device and select the Approach R10 from the list. On your Approach R10, press the button on the back of your device. If this is the first time you have powered on your Approach R10 device, it will automatically enter pairing mode. The front LED will be solid blue, confirming the device is in pairing mode. If your LED is not solid blue, press and hold the button for one second to power off the device. Then press and hold the button until the LED turns solid blue. Now that your Approach R10 device is ready to pair, touch Start on the Garmin Golf app. Once the pairing is completed, select Finish. Next, we need to set up the mounts for both the Approach R10 device and for your smartphone. To complete this process, you will need the Approach R10, the tripod mount, and both pieces of the phone mount. Let's start with both pieces of the phone mount. First, insert the ball end of the bag clip mount into the back of the phone clip. This may take some force to snap together. With the phone mount assembled, open the large clip and attach it to your bag. Now we can open the adjustable slide and insert your smartphone. Be sure the phone is lower than the top of the bag to avoid contact with your clubs. If needed, you can reposition the phone angle or clip placement. Finally, we can attach the Approach R10 device to the tripod mount. The tripod is magnetic and will easily attach to the back of the device. Once attached, extend the feet. We will now show you how simple it is to set up your Approach R10 device in either an indoor or outdoor environment. We will also cover quick tips to remove any obstacles you could have along the way. We'll cover the indoor setup process first. Begin by checking the measurements of your space. The space required for your Approach R10 must be a minimum of 15 feet long by 8 feet wide and 8 feet high. You should be able to take a full swing comfortably in this space. If not, you could see shorter distances or inaccurate metrics and a larger space will be necessary. Now we can place our mat in the play space. The mat will need to be a minimum of 2 feet long by 2 feet wide. However, for the best experience, we recommend a mat size large enough for you to stand on and hit the ball on the same level. When using an impact screen or net, make sure the ball is at least 8 feet away. Using a longer distance could improve accuracy. With our tee location set, you can now place the Approach R10 device on the ground between 6 and 8 feet behind the mat location. Our recommended position is 7 feet behind the ball. Use the red line on the top of the Approach R10 device to align the ball to your target. To help with alignment, you can also lay down a golf club between the alignment line and tee. Now, safely position your golf bag behind or next to your Approach R10 to quickly view your shots of data on your smartphone. Now we're ready to take some swings. Simply open the Garmin Golf app and select a SIM session. To learn more about the available SIM features, Follow the link now. Depending on your setup or environment, you may experience inaccuracies. See our Overcoming Challenges section to learn more. Next, we'll cover the outdoor setup process and ways to overcome challenges and improve your experience. 
Whether you are hitting into a net or at a driving range, you first need to make sure you are confident taking a full swing in your hitting space. If not, you could see shorter distances or inaccurate metrics. A larger space may be necessary. Your hitting space or mat will need to be a minimum of 2 feet long by 2 feet wide. However, for the best experience, we recommend a mat size large enough for you to stand on and hit the ball on the same level. When using an impact screen or net, make sure the ball is at least 8 feet away. Using a longer distance could improve accuracy. With our tee location set, you can now place the Approach R10 device on the ground between 6 and 8 feet behind the mat location. Our recommended position is 7 feet behind the ball. Use the red line on the top of the Approach R10 device to align the ball to your target. To help with alignment, you could also lay down a golf club between the alignment line and tee. Now, safely position your golf bag behind or next to your Approach R10 to quickly view your shots of data on your smartphone. Now we're ready to take some swings. Simply open the Garmin Golf app and select a sim session. To learn more about the available sim features, follow the link now. Depending on your setup or environment, you may experience inaccuracies. See our Overcoming Challenges section to learn more. This section will cover overcoming challenges that you might face while using your Approach R10 device. Let's discuss setup placement. There should be a clear, unobstructed view from the Approach R10 device to the ball when preparing your hitting space. Your Approach R10 should also be near the same height as the ball hitting space. You can place a wood block or another flat object under the Approach R10 device to raise it. Be sure to use the tripod stand that came with the Approach R10. Using other mounts or attempting to attach it to a wall could result in inaccurate readings or error messages. Your Approach R10 device does not need to be completely level, as it will automatically account for slight dips in its side-to-side -side positioning. An error message will indicate if your device is not level. We also recommend using a similar type of golf ball that you typically use on the course. When using a net, we recommend that it matches the size of your space to ensure that you can swing with confidence. Ensure the Approach R10 has a green flashing LED at the beginning of each swing. Any pre-swing movement or pause mid-swing may result in a false detection or missed shot. Now let's discuss obstacles. When preparing your hitting area, remove objects such as fans and heaters from your surroundings. These types of objects are known to cause radar interference. Metallic or shiny surfaces and structures may impact performance. This includes garage floors and light poles. When used near these types of surfaces or objects, remove or cover with carpet, artificial turf, or dull fabric. Some indoor setups may require you to cover the floor walls and ceiling. While in an indoor space, your area should be free from large objects or electronics like AC units, refrigerators, and fluorescent lights to avoid radar interference. We recommend removing objects such as vehicles or TVs so that you can swing confidently. When at the driving range, try to leave space on both sides. Nearby golfers may cause interference with the radar. If you have checked over all of the setup tips but are experiencing consistently inaccurate data, such as distance and launch angle, then we would recommend performing a calibration to the Approach R10 device. See our troubleshooting radar features of the Approach R10 in the description for more help. And that's it, thanks for watching. If you need additional help, visit us at support.garmin.com.